What would you like to see your group doing more of? Oh, um, expanding into different regions um, because we're the only disability um, group with multicultural background. We're the only one in Victoria. So one of our, our long term goals has always been to be statewide. And to, and to help people learn how to advocate for themselves so they have a voice so they're not manipulated into doing things that they don't want to do. What do you think are the main issues for people with disability? That people that are... People that can speak for themselves either don't or they're too scared to, but the most vulnerable people are the people who are non-verbal, who can't tell you what's going on. And if they've got their carries with them all the time, they can't say if, something, if something's happening that they don't like. And that they haven't got, because we've always been um, shunned in a corner and isolated, people don't always have the skills to advocate for themselves, even if they are verbal, because they've never been taught. So the whole idea of DMD is um, to teach people from multicultural backgrounds specifically to be able to stand up and say there's something wrong and it's not wrong to say if anything's not right and to give them the skills. What is the ILC and why do you think it's important for groups? ILC, um, uh, I'm not, I know what it is but I don't know what it stands for. So hopefully it, it shows the, the bureaucrats what we can do and that we're a valuable part, we're a valuable part of the community and they need to, and that we can make a valuable contribution as far as employing, well, because you're going to be employing more people to advocate for more people so that the, the, the whole system can be changed for the better for everybody, not just people with disabilities.